Don't worry, remain standing. Let's let's go straight to the word this morning. Let's go straight to the word. I have quite another, another line of activities, but I'm going to try to hurry all of them up and see how fast we can do everything. All right, Genesis chapter 2, verses 18 to 25. Genesis 2, from verses 18 to 25. Genesis 2, 18 to 25. I'm waiting for the media to have it. You don't have, you should have your Bible too. Okay, we're going, I'm going to read it in your hearing because it is quite a long read. All right. The scripture says, And the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper comparable to him. All right? It's a helper, but not just a helper. A helper comparable to him. All right? That can relate to him on a certain kind of level. The next verse of scripture, verses 19. It says, Out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every bed of the air and brought them to Adam to see what he would call them. And whatever Adam called each living creature, that was its name. And the next verse, uh, verses 20. So Adam gave names to all the cattle to the birds of the air and to the every beast of the field but for adam there was not found a helper comparable to him verses 21 and the lord caused a deep sleep to fall on adam and he slept and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh in his place verses 22 then the rib which the lord god had taken from the man he made into a woman and he brought her to the man all right, verses 23. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Verses 24. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Verses 25, our final verse of scripture. And they were both naked, and the man and his wife were not ashamed. If if you were um, from this text, we can um, clearly establish that there was a pattern here, or there was an ultimate aim here, and the ultimate aim was a connection. All right, that 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 from the beginning of, of what we read, that Adam didn't find anybody comparable to him, um, so there was nobody who connected him on a level, and and ultimately at the end of the day, there was now somebody who could connect with him, and and that is our agenda this morning. Um, connection because it was Adam finding connection that now inspired the marriage um, so this this morning uh, our, our objective is um, you finding your connection all right and it's for singles majorly but, but, but everyone is in the, in the in the in the conversation all right so that even as married people your com your connection can be fastened and be more stronger look for three people and tell them this morning connect 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 no, connect, connect, tell them, please connect. Father, we come before you this morning. We're expecting that you speak to us, speak to us so clearly, speak to us so powerfully, speak to us. Um we sought precision that we don't miss it at all. We get exactly what you're saying so that he that reads it will run with it. We are excited over what you are said to do. Preacher, the preacher, listen with the yara. Stay fit in our heart that it will be a great blessing to every one of us. For this, Heavenly Father, we give you the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Your amen coming better than that this morning. You may have your seats. Look at your neighbor, to your neighbor. Connect, connect, connect. Mm -hmm. the line you are trying to call cannot connect uh, the idea is for you to connect this morning let me start with like i said it is mainly for singles but it would also would help people who are married so that you can fasten your connection and that's that's the subject of my meditation this morning connect but let me start with saying that there's no anointing uh to get you married there's no anointing there's no uh, you know because all kinds of things happen in the body of christ people say they have the special anointing of grace they, to make people get married there's no anointing they, they it, it is not there there's no scripture that says and jesus was healing and whilst he was healing he was making people get married there's none say come for this uh, this this marriage seminar you will find your husband no that's mm, there, there's no anointing now there are people who i, I could give them call them apostles in this in the area of marriage in the sense that they they preach and they are a good number of their messages are centered around marriages now it doesn't mean that in their preaching it's not an anointing that will come upon people to make them get married no because it is not about just get married it's about who you are getting married to all right because i've heard all kinds of crazy things that people come for service and you say pick your wife now you pick <laughs> no so don't expect any impartation it's not going to happen that that no because the truth about it is that it's not about um 
marriage is not really the issue you can get married to anybody you can just decide to see somebody and say i'll marry you you know it's not the issue it, the issue is who who to marry that's the issue so let's 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 have that settled okay now now god is in, is interested in 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 the idea of families that's what will be next time we established on the beginning of the month uh we've dealt with with marriage first and we dealt with parenting last sunday and we're dealing with singles now and singles every single is in the group 20 year olds 30 year olds 40 year olds 50 year olds 60 year olds everybody's in the group divorce is in the group widowed is in the group everybody's in the group all right now but god is interested in families the bible talks about in psalm 68 verses 6 that god said solitary in families all right i think the amplifier says he, he 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 puts the lonely in a home all right so god is rather in families but like i said two weeks ago that as god is rather in families that 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 the family stems from in god's idea stems from husband and wife they are the ones that start the family and that is god's agenda all right so when we come back to marriage it is marriage it's not cohabitation in the towns we live a lot of a lot of madness has crept into the church and people are cohabiting you've been cohabiting happening for six years you are not married god's agenda is not uh, let them just stay we don't stay and this person i get no god's agenda is for you to be married i don't want to throw spray spray bullets today but 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 that is not don't you can't Everything that married people are doing, are doing, it doesn't mean you're married. Let us say it as it is. And, and, and even our culture even understands that because if something ever happens to one of you, one of you passes on, that's when you will know. You, please, you don't have to wait till that time to now know that you don't have certain rights. You're not married. So the person, if you're doing everything, like, why don't you just get married? So God's plan is not cohabitation. And let me, let me tell you how co cohabitation works. Nobody really, I don't think with their normal senses, started cohabiting and, and thought they were going to cohabit for seven years. Because people have cohabited for seven years. People have cohabited for 20 years and have five children. They, don't, they didn't start out hoping to cohabit that long, but it started with one day sleeping in the person's house. The second day sleeping in the person's house. Now you have done two months. You are going to 12 years. That's your journey. Now so... I'm not planning to straight bullet, but this is what my <laughs> now. So it starts. It was not a plan. Nobody's because we've had people who cohabited 12 years. <laughs> we had people who cohabited 20 years. They didn't start out. They did not when they started that they don't see 20 years cohabiting. It started with you came, they gave you specky. Specky. <laughs> <laughs> no tell you i wish i could tell you tell your neighbor to get married <laughs> there's no cohabitation i'm talking to believers so let's go back to how the scripture is no cohabitation god's idea for the family is marriage marry marry what are you waiting for stop waiting for event i have to do this just get married that's the most important thing and i'm, I'm telling you people see this cough sense if you don't have money at least have sense see <laughs> you can do your traditional wedding and, and, and i'm telling you if all i just need from you is that i will need you to go through the premarital class so that you can be educated and have an idea and understand about what marriage is but your traditional wedding if you tell me to come i will come and pray for you bless the ring you don't have to do church wedding and me i'm telling you i'll do it for you you don't have to you don't have to do don't let anything kill you me i will do it for you your traditional wedding i will come there bless the if you want me to wear clerical i will wear it don't get involved and put yourself under unnecessary pressure you see that white wedding that's that's white man's traditional wedding so we have africans let's i will tell you amongst the three because we're africans let's do the traditional wedding the pastor can come there I will come there. I will pray for the rings. Bless you. You want tongues? I will speak in tongues. If you want communion, I will do communion. We will do it there. It's finished. You're married. 
Look at God has issues. That. <laughs> Say no to cohabitation. That's what I'm saying first. Don't cohabit. Just get married. All right. So that's 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 that one. No plan and bet. Now there, there. All right. Now, so the idea is that is with God is that God wants to get married, and God is particular about who you marry. That's where God is. God is particular about who you marry. Now, God has His choice and His options for you, but God will never force you, because we are self-governing beings. God will never force you. If you say, see, even even when people say God told me that this person, this person I will marry, God still left the room that because you can ask the person, the person said I don't want to marry, and you and nothing. There is no the idea of perfect who has my missing rib is not is not the person the person if you collect and not give you <laughs> no there's no perfect man for every perfect woman because God see when one when, when Eve was about to eat the fruit before the conversation started God knew the time that was we were having the conversation and she didn't want to eat it God knew the time her mind started changing God knew and it's still allowed because we are self governing beings God doesn't force so clearly there are people that you could know that this will get you want to get married and god told you to the person the person still can say no and life moves on there's no perfect man for any perfect woman there's no no it doesn't exist because if you do that then what about people who their spouse died six months into marriage is are you saying that the person is finished no so see what happens is that whilst there may not be a perfect person for you there are particular behaviors or patterns of behavior or character that is best suited for you am i yes, so if james left don't say i'm it's finished james was the man no he he, he has got but his going has proven that he was not the man yeah. because some of you this idea you could have just broken up with the person one year ago that you didn't break up now it's five years it's seeming more difficult good news news break up now because this five years is going to be seven years break it up now if it's not working everybody go no street bullets no street bullets today <laughs> so let's go to the text that we read now how how did he started the bible says that um God looked at the first thing, the first thing that God said is not good. He looked at man and said, it's not good for man to be alone. I'll make a helper comparable to him. When he said he was not good, he said it, it, it was implying that he looked at man and said, this man will not be able to fulfill. He will not be able to fulfill the mandate that I created him for. Because you need to understand that every time that God said in Genesis 1, that in God creating things and you say it is good, it is that he will create the son and you say it is good in the sense that it has the ability to fulfill what I created him for. We will create this this it is good it will fulfill but in looking at man he said it's not good for man to be alone in other words man will not be able to fulfill so he had to find somebody a helper not just a helper but a helper comparable to him that he could connect with so that's why we go to the next scripture that the bible now says that we see god trying you know we see we see we see a a, a narrative so okay we're looking for a helper comparable to you so adam now go and name the animals and the name of the animals was so um it, it was critical it was not just a, a a random action no it was that adam had the ability by what he gave the name the names he gave the animal to give the animal certain abilities so for example if an animal could not fly before but based on what adam called it and what the name had the ability for it to fly it would not begin to fly so god threw that route and adam called and at the end he still no work because he named the Bible said he called the cattle and the birds and said and, and he goes back to the scripture he says but there was still no so that that matter did not work so the bible now says that god now made you see read the bible and read the bible not just as read it and get let the holy spirit open it up to you because you understand it better like that now the bible now says that god made adam fall into a deep sleep and took the the ribs but one part of his ribs right it took out of adam to create for adam it took out of adam to create for adam that's why the bible said it became one flesh is that they were always one flesh because it was this from adam he created eve now the bible still mentions that god went still went back to the naming route because he, he brought her when the bible said when he created the woman he brought her to adam to name her and once adam saw her he gave her the name 
woman out of man not woe to man out of man he gave her the name understanding that this one came out of me and then look at what the bible says i think in in in, in, in yeah verses 23 now it says this is now this that this is nice like eh -eh. i've gone through looked all through baboon they cut me eye you know you know you know, you know. this other one they sent proposal you know work this other one has done uh let me not I added some parts you know work this is now and let me tell you let just to just to pass that junction she as you did when you find who your connection your connection likes you the way you are in fact what you think is a disability that's what he likes you see your big nose that you think is big nose big nose god god knows best knows i am is what he loves say our nose you can breed for two of us <laughs> because i'm telling you all this efforts to do this add this add this you will realize it means nothing it means absolute when the marriage has entered you realize it doesn't mean will you be we make up and shower would you not shower and come out and see the person the person not see you the way you are because if he changed mind there <laughs> so the earlier mano stick to your stick to the script stick to the script <laughs> so he said hey, hey, I, no, this is the connection this is the flesh of my flesh and the bible now says um that they were naked and not ashamed. In other words, they had a shared reality. They were naked, and both of them, both of them were naked. No, no, no one was uh, half naked. But everybody was naked, and they were unashamed. All right, they had a shared reality. So, so the objective this morning is: How do you? How do I find my connect? The person I'm supposed to connect to. All right, I've used the example about uh, adapter and socket. The adapter is useless without the socket. They, they, both of them were made with the other in mind. So how do I find my connection? And married people, listen, it's going to help you. It's going to help you. Three things this morning I want to run through. The first thing is to know yourself. All right? The first thing is to know yourself. The other is to know the expectations, and the other is to know the time. But let me start with know yourself. Tell your neighbor, know yourself. Know yourself. Know yourself. No, speak well now. Tell your neighbor, well. Tell your neighbor, know yourself. Know yourself. It is Socrates that said, man, know thyself all right when adam had, had, had sinned and and god asked him where are you it's not that god did not know where exactly where they were god knew exactly where they are but god wanted adam to establish where he was so that from where he was he'll be able to navigate to where he needs to be so god knows god god clearly knew know yourself look at look look at me luke 16 3 verses 4 luke 16 3 verses 4 He says, and the steward said, now this is the steward who his master had, fa had found that he was not, uh, the books were not right. And then look at what he said to himself. The steward said to himself, within himself, what shall I do? For my master is taking the stewardship away from me. All right? He knew. It's finished. But he, he, he knew himself, said, I cannot dig and I'm, I'm ashamed to beg. He knew himself. Let go to the next verse, verse 4. I have resolved what to do based on from knowing himself. We was able to resolve what to do that when i'm put out of my stewardship they may receive me into their houses so know yourself and you need to know yourself it's important you know yourself it's so important that you know yourself because see what knowing yourself does see knowing yourself what it does first does is that just it already does it it establishes elimination when you know yourself you just know who no go walk but when you don't know yourself, you don't even, you just, you see, it's just like Samsung, if you have a Samsung phone, all right, I think the, uh, the iPhone 15 now has a C, Type C, but before the Type C, if you had the Samsung phone, you already knew who to ask for charger. Just by knowing yourself, you didn't just go to your place and say, please who has charger, who has charger, who has charger? No. You would ask who has samsung all right so if you went somewhere and you, you were discussing with someone the person had an iphone you know that he's not the person to ask 
Just know yourself. Nothing concerns vegetarian with Suya. He already knows that when they're sharing Suya, he's not, he's not supposed to be there. You right? Nothing concerns Arsenal with Champions League. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing concerns them. <laughs> say, see, they say, Pastor, don't worry. We're going to see that match today. I don't watch football. I watch tennis. So I don't even know what's going on. But what I know is that nothing concerns Arsenal with Champions League. Nothing concerns them. They are fine. <laughs> you see, it's not, it's, not like, it's not like the dog's feet. The dog by his feet, the feet already suggest to us what, where his terrain will be just by his feet. And because of the way his feet is, he can't run too fast. If it ever tries to run too fast and run so fast or long, it will destroy its, its feet and lose its ability in its terrain. So you've got to know yourself. You've got to know yourself. You see, let, 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 let me put myself on the bus. I can't, I can't use someone as an example. Let me put myself. Just knowing myself and my kind of person, I'm not the kind of person that likes to, if not for the work I do, I'm being pastor. If I was not pastor, I possibly would be in technical media. You wouldn't know me wear a black t-shirt. Just come. My 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 normal self. I don't like coming out. Just do your own thing. I don't think you're ever going to catch me in a red blazer. It's going to be very difficult. I don't like to stand. I just like to do my do and go. And, and I kind of knew myself quite early. So there's some people I knew that I'm not. I'm not that I knew that you know go walk. They could be good people, they could be friends, but I just know that they like to stand and they like to be everywhere. When they go to a party, it doesn't just work. It's not my pattern. There are people I like to live within my means. If what I have, I do use what I have. But you know, but you know there are people that can borrow three million naira. They don't have five thousand naira in their account, and they just borrow three million because they just had someone just jackpot. They want to just go to the UK and come back, and they can do it and sleep. There are people that can owe people five million, eight million, ten million. They are sleeping. They are not. They, I don't know how they do. They don't sleep. <laughs> Nothing concerns them. I know, I can't. Should <laughs> there are people that will pay for a house that they don't have any business with for the house? They'll pay for it just to live there. They'll be beyond debt. They and they are going fine. So now see the journey is that you can meet someone like that and, and the person is friendly and you're friendly to the person and you guys relate but when you just know yourself i can't live up with this lifestyle it's not that the person is a bad person but you just know you see based on who i am and what my values are we will not just walk before one day they, they, they the police come and arrest you and you've been the, you've been the house the person also, I've, just, I've, I've, heard, I've seen people who are not afraid of police they go to police well too many times not saying not police and a lucky person. You, you've got to know yourself. One of the things there are people that um, are very, very traditional. I, I, I wish I could find another word, but when I say traditional, I'm saying based on our, uh, uh, the part of the world we are in that that they like their women to greet them in the morning, mm -hmm. bring water for them to wash their face. See, that is who the person is. He didn't force you to get married to him. Because you can't now wake up and say, what will you be? This is old fashioned. No, that is how he has been. It is how he sees life. You will serve him food, stand by. That is him. He didn't force you. You agreed to marry him. So, already if you knew yourself that you could not stand that, when he was doing those things, because he was suggesting it, you will know, say this one, you know work because it's a mistake where some people could have just remained our friends we dated them because we didn't know ourselves the person no bad it's just that you would have just remained your friend some people could have just remained church brother but because you don't know yourself anybody that just came as long as you were available you went and we've now destroyed a lot of relationships that could have been beneficial to us in the future some people would have rather been colleague. Innocent neighbor that would have just been innocent neighbor. Two of you will still have been talking today. <laughs> I'm asking somebody. Some people have been business partners. Well, part, see, know your values. For, for me, let's leave.
pastor alone. Yeah. I, I, I was a Christian. I'm, I'm a Christian. I don't know if I was always Christian. I'm, I'm a Christian. And I love God. I love God. I love God. And, and I, not because of, of pastor. I'm planning to be pastor. I read my Bible. I enjoy. See, whoever was going to get married to, first of all, if you're not a Christian, you're not even a WhatsApp group. I'm not even saying, mm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that you're Christian, you feel it in form. I'm saying you're not a born again believer. It's no follow. Then when you're a born again believer, you, 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 you cannot be somebody that we must have conversations that I'm, I must be hearing you also say, this is what the Holy Spirit told me. I'm, that may not be for you, but I'm saying for me, you have to have shared values. If I did marry somebody like that and something came up and said, go to Benin. That's where the marriage would have scattered. I'm not speaking to somebody. That's not there. So we, who's following you to where? But because whilst God talks to me, God also told me, it's not the first time, I'm, it's not that time, that instance, that you also want God to now talk to her. Say, God, talk to her. No. You have to know yourself. Know your value. So the first thing, don't put the blame on anybody. Don't put the blame. Men are, 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 are interested. Or are scum. No, leave them alone. First, know yourself look at your neighbor tell your neighbor know yourself know yourself know yourself know yourself now the switch when it comes to married people this is switch where's the switches because many people are in here too is that before you got married yeah know yourself that's your assignment but when you get married this is rich know your spouse study your spouse like book know your spouse you see the amount of energy we put in trying to change the spouse or not accepting him see this is who he, this is how he eats accept study him maybe it's because of the way he's teaching study him say this is how oh now like accept the energy we put in trying to change our spouse if we invest it in just studying how the person this is who this is what informs him like this you would accept the person not the person I know you came from a calm, calm home. Everybody, when you woke up in the morning, everybody woke up, gave themselves kisses. Oh, it's good to see you. Oh, good morning. How do you hope you slept well? That's how you guys woke up. You guys came and had a devotion together, held hands, and then had tea. And some people like coffee. That's how you grew up. The guy didn't grow up like that. When they woke up, say, hey, where are you? Where you not there? That's how. So, his, his summation is different. You, the fires of the marriage, you're trying to change him. No, when you wake up in the morning, you have to give me a kiss. Break up your breath. Baba, just accept. Baba, 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 no get energy. Accept him. Find him. Make it for yourself. It doesn't make him a bad person. That is just who he is. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes, Study your spouse. Accept. Once you want them to change, and yeah, you want them to do fundamentally a good part of themselves will not change because it took many years in them becoming that person so that's it that's it he go this guy go like argument till to to jesus come even when jesus come full jesus argue now that now now it's that so in be so once you accept you once you know him say you can predict arguments coming you can dodge say this <laughs> No follow ammo. Then I say, you win. <laughs> I'm asking somebody. Because it's not as if he's even will not agree to you. But if you come to the point of arguing, then he will not agree. But when you already know that this person not argue, this thing will be. Just say, no be quarrel though. I just want ask. In fact, not even once, I want being asked. See <laughs> whether how you see him. I'm asking somebody, argument don't die. But you say, I don't think so. Ah, as you started with, I don't think. Baba sleep the kind of before. As he as he yeah. I don't think. He will give you five points. <laughs> Why? I'm asking somebody. So be married people now, know your spouse. Singles, know yourself. That's not going to. Because see, there should be a there should be. Even when you date people, let's say you date, you have a track record or you have people that you've dated, we should be able to see some similarity with the kind of people. For good or bad. Because sometimes when you're talking about relation, abusive people, you know. But I'm just saying, it, re it reveals whether you know yourself. I'm actually going to someone this morning. The other, Nintiron, is know what is expected. Know what is expected. 
And when I say no, what is expected is that the general and common expectation about marriage is warped, is, is, is flawed, is, is out of what God's intention of what marriage is, what people expect marriage to be. You know, Hollywood has done its conditioning. Nollywood has done its conditioning. So it, it has tampered with what the idea of what marriage is. People have, people are getting married for all kinds of reasons. <clears throat> marriage is not poverty alleviation program. It's not. It, it's not. It, it's not. The person you got married is not your destiny helper. It's not. Because people are getting married who, who will solve. Who you will hear people say, if you, if I had the man in my life now, some of these problems that I'm having, it's not poverty alleviation. It's not helping in this scheme. It's not. That's not the idea. Because you hear people. Say anybody that wants to marry should be able to, be able to train my last ones. I'm the first born. Is it? Did he? Did he come? For, <laughs> one apply. Then I'm apply for a scholarship. It's not. It's not. It's not. It quenches your loss. No, it doesn't quench your loss. Say this. 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 Okay, they're not children yet. Say this. country when I go, can I get married? It's a lie. It will. It is even opens a chapter. Another chapter you didn't even see coming. Married men just look forward. No punch. It doesn't, it doesn't it doesn't solve it it's not it's not so that i become mrs you know some people just want to get married so that they have the title i'm i'm so i'm mrs so i'm somebody's wife it, so it's not that's not that's not the intent they will respect me because you're married no that's not the intent of getting married it's not that we have children say have children no make i marry make i make i born it's not it's not it's not even a matter of time don't reach don't let anybody put you under pressure. Like, time on reach, time on reach, time on reach. Then we, 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 we start early. Uh, so what's the idea of marriage? Because, see, if you, if you have a wrong understanding of this marriage, it, either it would prevent you or it would affect your judgment. It would affect your judgment. So what's the idea of marriage? Marriage, let's go back to the scripture now. Um, Genesis 2.24. Genesis 2.24. This is it, it says us. All right? That is 224. May they help me. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. One flesh. So the idea of marriage is about you doing life together with somebody. Doing life. They, they, they become together and they become one flesh. Remember the thing started from the idea that uh, this is not good for man to be alone. He will not be able to accomplish what god designed him for so god had to create a helper comparable to, in fact you bring genesis 1 28 genesis 1 28 we'll see where god was talking to man and giving man an instruction he didn't give man a single no genesis 1 28 god then god blessed them and god said to them be fruitful multiply fill the earth so for man to be able to do it man has to be a them so that the purpose of getting married is doing life with somebody that's the essence doing life doing life and see what happens see the winning team if, 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 let's let's come to football or major competitions that, that are team sports when, when 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 for example let's hope for their yeah, sake arsenal yeah we're hoping for them that they win the premiership this season no 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 honestly oh you didn't, you didn't even believe me oh god but let's hope that they win. Now, if they win the premiership, what would happen is that the team won the premiership. Is that when they are given individual awards for the season, most of their players will make it because the team won. So see what happens when the marriage is good and both of you succeed in the marriage. Both of you will do well individually. Yes. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes, the good marriage that you, 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 you succeed then in fulfilling life what of you will you're the beneficiaries but you don't start out being the beneficiary individually no you start out being the beneficiary together you bless them your wife doing well is your is is important to you i'm asking somebody no she's not just a trophy no only for when this is, she has become like china play they didn't have guests you bring out the best place no that's not it her doing well, her, her fulfilling her, it, it's, it's your goal together. So the idea of it is doing life. That's why you pay attention. That's why 
<laughs> to love the person is important too because this love love your husband love who you get married to is you know satan satan is so subtle in his pushing his agenda people say love is not that important though love see love is the most important thing that's why you must love the person if you're going to do life with somebody and, and you're not are you planning to die in five years no you're planning to live long and you're, you're going to do life with that person for the next 40 years <laughs> it will be better off doing it with somebody that you love it will be easier doing it with someone that you love you must love the person all this convenient arrangement well it's not that bad it's not that bad it's not that bad i can't take this i can't take this i can manage you find a coping mechanism ego cast i'm telling you because when the chiefs are down who no love ego clear it, it it will there are some things that you will not be able to give because you don't love and the way life is what you cannot give you will not get you will you you will see spouses that don't even if something some health challenge comes up and there has to be a donation they 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 don't it's not they don't even think about it does my own pay does it match now i'm not saying that when you're marrying you say i make i see whether your kid your kid took it into a work man no it's not it's not it's not that <laughs> you still get one <laughs> it's not about that but you see life life never tells us how the journey will be but when you love somebody it's not even it's not even let's think about it it's not but if there's no love mm, how long does he have to live can we mind uh, see you see this thing i'm saying it sounds funny but this is how people are in marriage they don't love each other so i'm speaking to i'm coming to people that are married though i'm coming to them you that you're not married see you you, you because you want to do life make sure that you love the person you may not have started out but please before you say i do say i do to someone that you love don't say i do to someone that is confident someone that you manage please how will you feel if they manage you and if you're managing somebody it's only a matter of time you will be the managed tell them what's managing let me well well no <laughs> see what marriage should do marriage should be you should you should love the person that you are giving your best to the person you are constantly giving your best to the person and once you what happens to you when you're giving your best to the person you become your best version so that if you're not giving your best to the person you are you are you are robbing yourself of your best version love the person don't go for this thing uh, 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 it's love enough we know that money comes in money can come in and people that money can come like issues can come you don't want to get married to someone that the children are sick and he's telling you oh i love you no i understand where money comes in i understand where some other things come in culture coming but please more, more love is, is is too too critical for us to put it as number four or number two no love is first the bible says love your god with all your heart with all your soul it says this is the first and greatest commandment love is that important it was love that god had for us that he sent jesus it was not um, a good strategy that made him send it was not um let us see how it goes no it was love love will make you give out your best and when god now gave out jesus god is the biggest beneficiary he gave out his son but he now has plenty of sons am i speaking to someone this morning love please don't Saying too much nonsense, this is people are getting married, and you can see from them that she loves the wedding, it's not the guy. If she had a way, she would throw him under the bus. She's embarrassed when he's talking. When he's talking, she's like, Oh god, he's talking again. No, no, as they come out today, no talk. Oh, I go talk. Love is important. But you're already married. Love. Oh. <laughs> love. Be determined. Now, now, here we did. Now we don't marry. Like I heard what man of God said. He said, before we got married, we don't know what it was will of God for us. But now we're married, it's the will. So where you are, love the person. And you can. You can. You, you may have started out not loving the person, but this is where you are. And because God is interested in marriages, God will send to you the grace to love the person. Love the, be determined. Because like I said, 
in you loving somebody, you will easily give out your best to the person. You will be willing to change. You will understand that your behavior is not good to the person. You will, that's where we make sacrifices from. Because I love you. Because I love you, eh? I will sacrifice this thing. You see this thing? I will leave him. Because I love you. But, you know, people cannot even think about it because there's no love. So married couples, spouses, love. Be determined. Train your, tell yourself. I love. Give it. Be determined to love. Give your best to it. I, see, I wish I could tell our spouses. I've seen you ask, right, say, ask, ask your spouse, are you giving your best? But I don't want trouble today. Make trouble, no start from church. But you, you ask yourself, are you, are you, am I giving my best to this person? If something ever happened, can, would that, would, can, am, I, am I giving my best? My best. My best. And it's easier to have that conversation if love was there in the first place. Please love whoever you won't get married to. Let's stop this nonsense. Let's stop this nonsense. But you watch Hollywood and you will see what is his name? The guy in Titanic that he drowned. You say, oh, when you watch it, we're crying. Oh, is it Jack? Was the guy's name Jack? Say, Jack, oh, love. You, you, you bet you don't want to love somebody. Love him. And the truth about it is that once, once you start investing your money and you decided to love the person, you will begin to see reasons to love the person. Love the person. How do you get married to someone you don't love the person? This marriage that you people have, eh, I didn't know myself then, but I got married. Now you've got to marry. Love the person. The side, they say, see, you know what? Since now, yeah, I did. I go love you. I go choke you. Lo love, love, love you. I'm not speaking to somebody. Love your... <sighs> Stop acting this as something that is convenient, something that they forced you. No, love the person. Oh, Jesus, I need to run. That's why ideally, let me come back to singles. Ideally, what should happen for singles is that you, you actually are supposed to decide who you marry from, who your friends are first. Somebody you really like. That's, that should be the normal route. Friends from your friend. You choose from your friends. You choose from your friends. You choose from your friends. And pastor, 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 time don't go, time don't go, time don't go, time don't go. You just see the person. See what happens. <laughs> it should be from someone being your friend first. Then you now see your values, your values align. Then you start that. But you see, when you just go towards marriage first, and it's married and married, married, it will blind you from seeing things about the person. You will not even know what you 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 like. Friends first. Friends first, because see, let me tell you about people are married here. Yeah, before people get married. Particularly when we are not putting friendship and uh, we're not putting marriage as the first agenda. I see, I won't marry, I won't marry, you didn't marry, you didn't serious. Are you willing to do business? Because I don't want to waste my time. <laughs> they will give you a script and they will run the script and you will fall into what you will fall into. But when you are friends, what happens when people are friends and you're just seeing yourself, no pressure. People act out and show who they are. And people give us hints of who they are every day. Is that many times what happens to us, we decide to be blind. People show us who they are. Someone is earning 120k, you know the person's salary, or 180k. And the person is using iPhone 15. And the person bought it. The person is telling you, I'm a thief. I don't, I don't, I, I, no. See, it's what it is. People tell us who they are. We just decide to be blind. I will live beyond my means. I will do anything to get money. I'm saying your salary is 120k. You, iPhone 15, I think it's 1.5 or something. Really? And the person, he, didn't, he bought it. Even if the person bought it stolen for somebody 600k, it's still telling you that the person it would rather live a fake life and do anything. I'm not talking to somebody. The person did not come out and say, I like fake life. But the person's action is showing you. You see somebody, no, 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 is that, is that, is that, why you know they see him? Now say you just carry married people for front. That's why you're not saying it. Carry friendship. Be friends. Even if you're 45 and somebody just started coming to you, you shouldn't check you first. You shouldn't tell you married first. Let me know you now. Let's, let me know your company. Let me, mm, let me know you. If not, a question will, a question will give you package. Am I speaking to somebody? 
No, it's not. Don't bring Mary. Mm, I just knew you now. Relax. Let me know you. I'm going to hear someone say, someone got married to the person with the owner. Well, in the scenario, like the person you have in the car. And meanwhile, all the time the person was dating, was the person was bringing different cars. You didn't open your eye. You are the one that put the person to give you a script. And he gave you the script. Well, in the, your eye, clear. Then trek. <laughs> and there you do. Like one that said, someone said this person was his father. When they got into the marriage, you now realize the person was no guy, his, his person's father. Is that to a scammer, jam scammer. <laughs> because you two, you marry the person based on you thought that person was his father. And he said, scam you. Am I speaking to somebody? That people think that people give you. The person you got to marry uh, to, when, when people start demanding certain things in the, in the set, in, in, you got to marry now. The person said, I don't understand my husband or something. He's asking for this kind of, he's, he's saying I should buy handcuff. I should, I should bring whip. I should do this. You, you do this that, when, <laughs> where did you meet him? Where you met him? Should have given you or <laughs> you're a guy now you say i don't understand this girl i think she's cheating i think she's this i think she's that you day you met her was in the club smoking shisha she was a gang of she, was in, she told you who she was i mean when, when people take excuse i hear people say stupid things so i just smoke i just smoke my wine i just for for fun yeah you're dealing with colors the person is telling you from the beginning I'm asking somebody from the beginning is that is that we decide to be blind i'm asking somebody and this is for singles now is that blind? so people people show you who they are they show you let me come to church you will see somebody that said, but the person is an usher in our church what kind of church but something happened in that compound the person had no qualms in following them to swear to go the person is telling you that church is not serious this is who I am. I'm actually, people show you. It's just that we close our eyes. They will show you. He's speaking in tongues. He's speaking in tongues. He's speaking in tongues. He's speaking in tongues. He's a worshiper. Worshiper. But when you hear him say, I can never forgive this person. And how you seeing how you could do a person wicked. He's telling you. Hey, 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 this one. Because when people come and say, it was not like that in marriage. Before I met, you, didn't, you, you decided to be blind. But many times what will open your eyes is in friendship. People don't have any, there's no stake, there's no script to run. I'm asking to somebody. The person just leaving the lava. You can see the person for who the person is. <sighs> I wish I could stay down on that. And let me wrap up. Too much time. And, and I need to do some other things. Too much time. The last is know, know the time. And when I say know the time, is that you need to understand that as we get older. Our values and our perspective to life changes. In your 20s, there are things that you did. In your 20s. In your 20s, they just told you, let's go, you went. I was discussing with, I had a friend, um, but my best friend was with me for the past few days. She traveled yesterday. And we just, I remembered one incident in our, in our year when we had a friend. In fact, it was our roommate. And the guy was, he, he, was, he was doing something with someone's girlfriend. You know? The nonsense i won't i don't have to say exactly what it is but you know what it is it was doing with someone's girlfriend and what this guy did to him was that when we said writing our exams for our, our year one first semester every time he writes his exam the next morning will come we see the script on the floor the first time it happened we thought that maybe something happened but the first time it happened i saw the script second time it happened we saw the script i said baba person they wrong you something so you them so from our year one you already had an extra year we ask we're talking about it like if you ask ourselves now was it what all the trouble because two of them have lived their life now both of them have married have children but so you see those things it's okay that it can happen to you in your 20s because naturally we don't think we just for the fun of it and this i don't want to, they are just two stupid people two stupid people if you put them together they didn't they didn't have to they couldn't say anything to themselves in five minutes but just the foolishness of youth in your 20s are things you do in your 30s you may not ask where you're going to you you or you don't you just want to go you no, you've been, you've been asked where you're going to, but you will still go to, you, you've not, you, you, don't, you don't own your decision yet. But in your 40s, you, you should have your own voice. If someone says, let's go somewhere, you say, where are you going to? Then you ask, in fact, I don't want to go, even if you want to go. So what am I saying is that as you get older, 
The Bible talks about it in Psalms 90 verses 12. The Bible teaches us to know our days that we will apply our heart to wisdom. All right? Teach us to know our days that we apply our heart to wisdom. So he's saying, literally implying that as you get older, you should be wiser. So part of what should happen with wisdom is that when you're older and you are, you see, in your 20s, you can date somebody and it may take you three years or four years for you to date before you get married. Because you don't really know the people are being friends. In your 40s, right? You should be able to look at the person in three dates, two months. No, whether this thing has head. Because you are wiser now. You're not going to say, you're not going to have two years. You're not going to have three years. No, we're doing life now and time is going. What do you want to do life in our 70s? You should be faster. And in the same vein, the other person too reads you faster too. As, as you are expected to read people faster, they also read you faster. When you're, when you're, you're, you're 40 something and you're still concerned about, you're, let's go to the cinema, let's go and eat popcorn. You're, you're not serious. The person sits down too and judges you that this person quickly. I'm not talking to somebody. There's, there's not as much patience with you compared to the patient that will have with a 20 year old. This is why you say, God, God, when, God, when, when they come, they just walk away. Let me tell you, a lot of them came and were looking. But they will not give you the, the yardstick they will use to judge you and judge a 20-something-year-old person will be different. They won't waste time with you. The issue is that many people are stuck in the time, the, their past. They are, they are in their 40s, but they are still stuck in their 20s. Let me give an example of people that are stuck in their 20s. Have you seen those cab men? You know, in the days we live now, there's bold, there's all kinds of things. But you know, there are still those cab men that still park. And don't look for customers and they wear this and they argue in the money and their price is still very expensive with nonsense car no ac and rude that's how some of us are when you're stuck with time because you see those people at the point in time they were the big boys when they came to that industry but the times have passed but they're still behaving like that or you've seen rastafarian you know this rastafarian rastaman at some point <laughs> In the 90s, that was in, when was, a Rasta man was the highest guy. But times have passed. I'm asking to somebody. So, so don't be stuck in time. Don't be stuck in time. Act. You're in, you're in your third, late thirties, you're a lady. You, you, can't, you can't be wasting someone's time. He's judging you too. You still want him to go through all of that. He has to know all my friends. Ah. You don't, you don't, you're not serious. See, I don't have time. Not out of word, but out of time. I hope this information so far has blessed you. Yes. To help us. To connect. The connection is waiting for you. He's there looking at you. Let us, let us lift up our hands. Let's pray a bit. I want us to pray a bit. I want us to pray a bit. For the singles this morning, I wanted to pray. Pray. One of the things I wanted to pray for, tell, say, God, help me know myself. And God can, God can reveal you to you. Help me know myself. I'm coming to the marriage, but singles, please pray this. God, help, help me. Help me know me. Pray. It. Help me repair my expectations. Some of us have wrong expectations when it comes to marriage. Help me repair. Repair my expectations. Help me to understand the times I'm in and act accordingly. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. For the marriage, this is what you're going to pray. Help me to know and accept my spouse. Help me to know and as help me. Help me. That I, I, I am committed. I am dedicated in knowing my spouse and accepting my spouse. Help me to love them whole heartedly no spare nothing left no i love them with everything help me this is very important it's in a few minutes but, but, but it's very important that you pray this and pray this from a place of sincerity help me to love my spouse wholeheartedly whole whole give my all father this is what we pray for so that father for the singles amongst us father you would lead them to their connection and then for the married amongst us heavenly father you will fasten their connection that nothing will break it in the name of jesus we've asked in prayer and in faith and we trust you to do even much more than we've asked you for in jesus name we have prayed please put your hands together give god praise this morning come on come on no no we're giving god praise come on we're better than that Hallelujah.